Most designers are uh, trying to make new designs. And I don't try to make new designs, I try to optimize everything around me and to take at maximum advantage of everything which, which I created around me. I always say that if everybody tries to do very special things and you do very normal things uh, in, alone, you're very special. So, and that's probably one of the reasons why people like it, because most designers and most people try to do special things. They don't do the obvious thing because that's obvious. And to do a real good obvious thing also is it takes intelligence, but it's a totally different approach. And I think this is uh, so in contrast with what normally is done. Everybody wants to do special things, wants to be special. I don't want to be special, I want to be normal because that's, that's good enough, you know. And specifically for the designs, it's, it's so rational often that, uh, and so understandable. That it's that that it's. I, I often think it's 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 so simple. It's not it's not the design. It's too simple. It always starts with material, like the first cupboard I made from scrap wood. I saw scrap wood and I thought it was nice. And somebody who's not inspired by materials, don't think, doesn't think this is nice. But I'm looking at materials. I think, oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And everybody thought it is old. It's for a rabbit house outside, but not for domestic purposes. So for me, it was so normal to use this material because I love materials and I always try to be as efficient as possible with it and to do the things which uh, cherish it. So all the designs are, are totally focused on materials. And this has been a major theme in the company. And the funny thing is now it becomes normal. You know, that you don't spoil materials because everybody more or less knows that we spoil too much, so you don't throw it away. But we never threw it away and I always try to do things with materials uh, uh, which others or ourselves uh, considered as leftovers. And at a certain moment I was so annoyed about the fact that we and every other company throws away materials because it's too expensive to do something with it. You know, labor is too expensive. So I thought I'd turn it around. I, I act as if labor costs nothing and material is worth a fortune. And I start redesigning uh, the process. And we made first, we made a stool of leftovers from the scrap wood cupboards, just piling up, very inefficient, but that was the whole fun, you know. And then we made a table and this table uh, had to be finished. <coughs> and uh, one of the guys who made it, or the guy who made it, he asked me, he said, how do I finish it? I said, well, just lacquer it 10 times as long as it is a lot of work, because work is for free, which was not the case, of course. But he started lacquering, and, and I was inspired by the fact that we uh, previously we, we, um, we renovated a river, a boat, and we had to lacquer it 10, 10 times, and it was almost like yin yang, you know, like meditation. So I said, well, lacquer it 10 times, and then the result was like it was like ceramics. The surface was, was so beautiful. And, uh, uh, and we thought we would never sell this table because it was extremely expensive. And in fact, this table has been the most successful table ever in our company. And the whole theme of, of uh, using leftovers by adding an enormous amount of labor has been a very important theme. And it's totally in contrast with what everybody does in the world. I've been focused right from the beginning on on working with, uh, with the maximum respect for the materials. And it's not, I, I don't do things uh, consciously, consciously different from the rest. But what I do is try to find my own territory. And it all, it's often people feel it as if I'm rebellious. And, uh, and I don't feel it like that. <laughs> I just do what I do. <laughs> and, and it's often different but it's not to be different. And I think it's all most of the time very simple and very normal. And I think sometimes, often, uh, all, almost everybody is something doing abnormal. So if you're alone and you're doing normal, it doesn't, or you do something which is different from the rest, it doesn't mean that you're not the normal one. You, it's, it's quite obvious in this world where we're living in, that most of the time, if everybody does something, it's stupid and not normal. So, so I'm not a rebellious, I just try to follow my common sense.
and that's often quite different from what the rest does. <laughs>